Sean Noble was cast and you were his dad? Um, yes, I did. They said that a guy's going to come in and uh, you're going to find out eventually that he's your son. I didn't know about the war bit. I didn't know he was the second horseman. Uh, but yes, I knew from the beginning. And it was a very difficult secret to keep. Your fish out of water scenes are some of the best on the show. How do you keep the comedy and the drama into it? Um, it's, I mean, it's largely thanks to the writers. They've done such an incredible job of, of walking that fine line. Um, and it's important to have those lighter moments. I don't think it could be an incredibly earnest show or it wouldn't really work. Um, I won't lie, every time I get a script, I kind of look for those moments because they're just the fun ones to play, really. Say you were trapped in the revolution era. What would be the most difficult thing to adjust to? I love a bath and I love just lying in a bath for hours with a whiskey. Uh, which I couldn't do, so I'd die. <laughs> I'd throw myself in a river with some mead. Um, a lot of it was in in the scripts. Uh, the writers had done a lot of research. Uh, there are obviously there are moments that I wasn't familiar with, not being an expert on American history. Uh, so I did lots of research into each of the characters that appeared from and the events that are described in the past. Um, I've, I've, ever since school, I've loved history. So a lot of the, the period in England, I, I know about. And so I could bring some of that. And there are some excellent books. There was a really good book um, by Liza Picard. She uh, wrote a series of books about London. There's an Elizabethan London, uh, Samuel Johnson's London, which is when Ichabod's from. And so I'd, I'd sifted through that. I owe a lot to Liza Picard uh, and finding as many different uh, antiquated swear words as I could and trying to fit old school swear words in. But I was busted and they wouldn't let me. Season two, I'll be swearing all over the place. <laughs> well, I mean, they left season one at such a high and with this group of writers, they're just going to be excited to take it even further, so it's it's going to be very cool, I promise. What is the favorite aspect of this character for you?